Hi, today we're going to go on a woodland nature walk. Here we are in a beautiful woodlands. What do you see? Some tall trees, some smaller plants, a little bit of bare ground perhaps under some trees, and a blue sky. If we look up close at one tree, what do we see? A big strong trunk, reaching out into lots of thick branches, which reach out into smaller twigs, which reach out into leaves at the tips of the twigs. If we look up close at a tree trunk, what do we see? some ivy clinging close to the trunk, green carpety soft plants called moss, and the white stuff growing on top of the bark is lichens or lichens, lots of living things growing on the tree. If we look out to the branches, what do we see? In this beech tree, there's leaves and nuts. If we look down to the bottom of the tree, what do we see? Roots going through the earth. Also on the ground around the base of the trees in the woodland are leaves and smaller plants and smaller trees, such as this holly tree. Down low on the ground, we have plants like ferns and ivy and lots of old fallen leaves collecting on the forest floor. We might see moss growing on the sides of trees and other plants such as bramble. At the edges of the forest, where more light gets in, we find wildflowers, such as this meadow sweet, and these nettles. If you look closely at the nettles, you'll see clusters of flowers and seeds growing out under the leaves. Be careful not to get too close though, you might get stung. Cleavers is another plant. You might call it sticky back because they stick to your clothes if you walk past them. All of these edges are very important in the woodlands. These flowers provide a place to feed for butterflies and bees. What do you see? A butterfly. It's our peacock butterfly. The shapes nearly look like eyes. Over here we have another butterfly. It's very different. This one is called the ringlet butterfly. It is taking a break, having a rest on an oak leaf. Over here, we found a web. I don't see the spider. Can you? Here's another butterfly feeding on the bramble flowers. The butterfly is drinking nectar. And as it moves from flower to flower, it probably is moving some pollen. This pollen will help flowers to go on to produce blackberries later in the year. There's a bumblebee feeding on the bramble flowers too. 
and back to our peacock butterfly. Up high in the top canopy of the woodlands, lots of other creatures like to live and spend their time up there, but it's harder for us to see that high. Animals like squirrels, lots of different types of birds and pine martens might be found right up at the top of the trees. This is one of our birds that likes to live in the woodlands. What do you think it's called? That's right, it's the robin. What do you hear? That's right, lots of bird song, near and far, and the wind in the trees too. Trees are very important. They help to clean the air and they give us the oxygen with which we breathe. The woodland is also very important. When we have lots of trees together, they provide great shelter and shade so that in the summertime it never gets too hot under the trees and even in the winter time in the woodlands is always a little bit warmer than the edges of the woodlands where the wind makes it extra colder. Woodlands are really great places for us to go and learn more about the world around us. They help us to understand how living things grow and how living things change through the seasons. We might find tracks and trails, burrows and holes belonging to, to animals in and around the woodland. And this helps us to understand life around us. Woodlands are also really important places for us to spend time. They can help us to relax. They are also great places for us to have exercise and stay fit and strong. And of course, they are a fantastic place to have an adventure and explore new things and new trails that we've never been on before. If you have a woodland near you, perhaps you can make a plan to go visit someday soon and see what you can learn out and about on your own woodland walk. <laughs>